Safety is a treasure that is not valued properly until it has been compromised. I also took it for granted. My name is Yulia Timoshek, I'm a Ukrainian. I am one of many women whose life has changed dramatically over the past two weeks after Russia invaded my peaceful country. Are you safe? My friends keep asking me. And I keep wondering what's the indicator of safety for a woman now? Is being alive or in better conditions than others enough? After 34 hospitals were shelled in Ukraine, my relative Nada did not leave a small clinic in Makariv near Kyiv and continues taking care of her patients. Is she safe? One would argue, but her soul is in place. It is her decision. My friend Victoria and her 10-year-old daughter have been in a shelter in her son brutally occupied by Russian army for 10 days. Are they safe? They are not. But they keep fighting by taking care of themselves. A woman crossing the border to an unknown country with two kids leaving her husband behind, without means to secure her life, not knowing the language, having one backpack and a trolley. Will they be safe? Will they feel secure far from home on their own? Safety has different dimensions, and it is certainly not limited to your body crossing the border to a peaceful country. For me, this year's celebration of oh, Women's Day great. sets oh, a different perspective. Bye -bye. Women around the world continue fighting again and again to feel safe, to feel that they belong to the place they are at, to the people they are with, to the thoughts that cross their minds. I am blessed to be surrounded by women who can decide what can be left behind and what's important for them. I would be honored, together with all of them, to be at the forefront of rebuilding our country in the nearest future. And I would like to invite you to take part in that. Advocate for women's rights. Advocate for democracy. Advocate for Ukraine.